Hi! I'm Miss Hannah from the Highland Park Public Library, and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Today I'm going to show you how to make a craft for the 4th of July. It's called a whirly gig. Here are the supplies you'll need. Heavy paper, like cardstock, cardboard, or construction paper. String, that could be yarn, it could be dental floss, it could be fishing line, just anything string-like. A pair of scissors, a pen, and then something to draw with that's red, white, and blue. I'm using crayons, but you could also use colored pencils or markers. Does a white marker exist? Oh well, anyway. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a circle on your paper. I actually traced a coffee mug so that I got a perfect circle. Then after you've got your circle, you're going to cut it out and then draw a design on both sides with your red, white, and blue crayons or whatever. So here's my design. You can do anything you want. You could even write a message too if you wanted to. The next step is to poke two holes in the center of your circle with your pen. See how the very tip of my pen has got a metal point? That's what we're going to do. We're going to stick it right through the center. And this step is kind of tricky to do, so you might want to ask a grown-up for help with that part. All right, your whirly gig is ready. Now we're going to thread it through some string. So I've got about three feet of dental floss here. And I'm going to poke one end of the dental floss through one hole. And then the other end of the dental floss goes through hole number two. So both ends of the dental floss are on the same side of the whirly gig. And then you're going to pull the thread through so that the whirly gig is kind of in the middle like this. And then tie your string in a knot. All right, so the whirly gig is all finished. Do you want to see it in action? Yeah, I bet you do. All right, so we're going to make the whirly gig spin. So you're going to move it in a circle. And as you're moving it in a circle, you're going to be twisting the thread up. And then once you stop spinning, Pull your hands apart like this, and the whirly gig will spin. And you can experiment with different kinds of string or different kinds of paper to see if you can make a better whirly gig. I'll do one more time. All right, so now you have your very own patriotic whirly gig to celebrate the 4th of July. For more library in your living room programs, be sure to check out our website, hplibrary.org. And if you like what you see here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, stay safe and wash your hands.